name is Davina Love. I'm 15 years old and I love hanging out with my friends and listening to music. I also love my new dog, Pokey, who I got from the Humane Society. Several months ago, my neck was itching really bad when I went to bed. The next day, I had hives all over my legs and stomach. I also started having random nosebleeds that lasted 30 minutes at a time. I've never been sick except for the common cold. I told my dad and he took me to the doctor who thought it was allergies. I had a feeling something was not right, so I did some online research. I couldn't find any answers, so I gave up. Weeks went by while I continued to have the same symptoms. My daughter had a pounding headache for two days, and she told me she noticed her urine was brown. Her father and I rushed her to the ER. The doctor lifted the sheet off Davina, and his facial expression said it all. My child had a very serious health condition. She was hemorrhaging in the brain. On June 6, 2012, she was diagnosed with ITP and was immediately transferred to a hospital in San Francisco. I woke up and had no idea what happened or why I was laying in a hospital bed. The doctors had me on morphine and that's probably why I couldn't remember anything. My side hurt so I asked my mom to take a picture. I had a big cut. They took out my spleen and I didn't even know it. I cried often because I missed Pokey. He was with me only two days before I landed up in the ER. The doctors and nurses made sure I was comfortable. I had to eat and drink from a feeding tube down my nose and throat into my stomach. It was hard to sleep and I only pulled it out three times. I promised the nurse I would eat if she would leave the tube out. That was a relief. I was moved to the seventh floor so like the other kids, I could walk around and do other fun stuff instead of lie in bed all day. The doctors told us that our daughter was a miracle. Her platelets stayed above 50,000 and she was able to come home. This experience taught me about how precious life is and we should never take it for granted. Davina will always be my little miracle. Pokey greeted me with licks and kisses. I realized that I survived because of my will to live and get better. I am grateful for my life. I have a 24-hour number just in case something happens. I always let my mom, dad, and nurse know if something is out of the ordinary because if I keep it to myself, I might not be this lucky the next time. If you think something doesn't feel right, Listen to yourself. Get help to find the answer. Appreciate your mom, dad, brothers, sisters, and all that is around you, and especially your pet, because you never know what can happen in life. <laughs>